To me, she's just this amazing uh, individual who has a heart for people. The first day I, I met her, I, I just knew that she's a very special person. For a stranger to show that kind of kindness toward you is it's very comforting. On October 29th, I found out that at 29 weeks, my daughter, Georgia, had no heartbeat. I um, checked into my room and they hooked me up to a monitor. And at that point is when they realized they couldn't find a heartbeat. When I went around to get a closer look because his hand looked funny to me, the coloring looked funny, um, I found that he was not breathing. I lost her from SIDS on April 3rd, so she was three months old. The Tears Foundation is um, a nonprofit organization that's founded here in Washington State, and I started it um, in 2002 when we lost our baby. And what we do is we help families um, who've lost an infant 20 weeks to one year old, and they don't have the resources to pay for funeral expenses. It's very difficult for us in the United States to get our mind around death, especially a death of the child. And she has filled the gap where no one else would go. Sarah's vision is that parents can have a place to go or a person to call them if they don't want to go somewhere that have been in those shoes. Hearing her story makes it real. It's not just someone who started a foundation. It, it happened to her and um, she can relate with each individual person. We also offer peer companions and support groups for families to help them to get through the emotionally trying time after the funeral. It's a really great thing that I think the Tears Foundation offers um, is ongoing support, you know, especially the first year is hard. I met up with a few people from, from Tears, um, people who also lost a baby. It took, uh, I didn't have, I could be myself, I didn't have to pretend that I was strong. Our Walk and Rock event, it's really helpful. It's more than just like a fundraiser for us, but the families come out, they get a t-shirt with their baby's name. The butterflies all around the walk path, you see all these babies' names, which when you first hear about it, feel sad that there are so many babies, but for you as the parent of that child, it feels that you're honoring them. Everyone's walking in support of these parents and in support of the family. It was just my way of, again, expressing to Raquel how much I love her since I can't hug her or kiss her anymore. Parents are prepared to buy cribs. They're never prepared to buy a casket. You, you don't really do like a Google search for something like this. There is no closure. When your baby dies, that child will always be a part of your life. It's part of their history now. And I think Sarah and the Tears Foundation leaves a positive impact on that family's history and the legacy for that child. I, I lost my baby and thank you for letting me honor her this way. I, I think we're just really grateful for the support. Um, and um, I think the opportunity to honor our daughter. I just do it because um, I'm passionate and I can't see myself not doing it. How many other people go out and raise money just to help give that money out to other people who've experienced the loss of a baby? She is humble, very, very, very hardworking um, with a dreamer's mind. My goal for the future is to be able to meet a national need because we get requests from across the country. She's just a very selfless and very loving person. This is her passion in her life now. Her motivations, I think, are so pure um, in that her main focus is just helping families. Well, that's Sarah's vision is to 
let those parents know that there is hope and that they can get through it. I'm 12 weeks pregnant and it's so exciting and uh, very bittersweet at the same time because it's around the same time that we found out about Georgia, but we're believing that this is a gift from her. At the end of the day, I have to say that my girls who came after Jesse, they're just my light in my life. They're everything to me. And having them and having successful pregnancies, healthy children, and then feeling like I've accomplished something through the, the painful loss that we did have with Jesse, that his life, as short as it was, made a difference.